Hello, this is Editor Dan, just reporting in here to give you a timestamp. I kind of ended up just going off the top of the head, unscripted, and it ended up being a lot longer than I expected. Don't feel bad if you don't want to watch the whole video, that's fine, but uh, I was a big Etika, uh, a big fan, <laughs> and uh, I just had a lot to say, and I don't even think I did justice to... Uh, you know, how much he meant to me as a person, but I hope you enjoy a reflection on Etika, my enjoyment of his content, and the E3 Supercut 2019. Yeah, yeah. What up, niggas and niggas? It's me, Dano, your uh, goldfish connoisseur here. Uh, today I'm making a video, I'm just gonna make it kind of quick right now, a little intro. I'd say about a year ago, uh, there was an announcement for Banjo and Kazooie and Smash. Super huge deal for me. Um, it was E3. Every E3 is fucking mind blowing. Last year was interesting in super huge announcements. Uh, you know, Banjo Kazooie was in Smash, New Zelda. Uh, pretty good time, but a few weeks later. Uh, one of my favorite content creators would pass away, uh, being Etika. I haven't talked about it much, but it was kind of a big deal on the internet space, just because, I mean, he was a pretty well-known face from the memes to uh, just the people who knew him or who, you know, watched his streams or watched his videos. He was kind of an inspiration to me because he was able to be himself. He didn't, he, he didn't give no fucks. The internet got the best of him. And like, it's just... It's hard to talk about. Because I was like a huge fan. Uh, but something that I took away from it was the ability to be vulnerable. And be yourself. And love what you love. And express that love in any way. Whether you want to scream it out or you just want to swear a lot or whatever that was sort of what he represented and today uh, as a tribute to him to a one year from his passing and one year from the, f the first time i recorded uh, a live stream that i was viewing so my live reaction uh, i was originally going to post this like the day after but i'm just not good at editing efficiently i get reminded of him a lot and the way the world is right now, I sometimes wonder if he would have been happy seeing what's going on right now. So I just think about it a lot and I decided, you know what, it's not too late to post this video of a fucking live stream reaction from a year ago. Doing it as a sort of memorial piece kind of sets me at ease because he inspired me. Uh, to do it, honestly. His, his like live reactions were part of the thing that got him huge. I still remember when he tried out the demo for Smash and his fucking mic set up and his, his headphones and everything was terrible. His hair was so goofy. I remember watching that actually because I was hyped for the demo and I wanted to watch any footage of Smash for 3DS that there was. And uh, him screaming into the uh, microphone. Like, it's just so distorted. It's like a like a childlike wonder, um, and it's something that I think us in the gaming realm experience only so much. Every time, every time there's a Smash announcement, I get hype, except for Byleth. But I wanted to post this in memory of him, and I don't know, maybe to get something started for myself because he, I looked up to him, and I think he was a he was a very genuine and kind person. And he had a lot of trouble. It's very sad what happened, but he's in a better place. And we miss him. So, without further ado, this is my reaction to Nintendo's E3 from last year. Alright, let's do it. It's time. Yes! <laughs> Holy fuck! I'm going full screen, baby. Fuck yeah.
Holy shit! Oh my god! Oh my god, it's Smash Bros! Oh, fuck. Dude. Yo, it better not be a Fire Emblem character. I will actually kill myself. Dude, what the fuck is this? Holy shit! I said to start it off with a bang. Thank you. Oh, it's gonna be fucking Dragon Quest character. Dude, this is dope though. Holy shit. Oh! It totally is. Oh, it's the one from the new one! Cool. I'm okay with that. I think that's kind of cool, actually. Everybody was thinking it was Airdrie. Dude, that's... You know what? That's pretty fucking dope. Nice. Oh, he's just the hero? What the fuck? Oh, that's so... You know what? I ain't even mad, though. Everybody thought it was their trick. <laughs> I'm okay with that. And I, it's good that they started with it. I don't know though, he's just another sword fighter. I mean he has magic, but the slime. Oh shit, get bodied. Dude, this is awesome, holy shit. No fucking, hold on. Okay, this has to be like assist trophies or something. Or are they the alternates? They're the alternates, holy shit. Yeah, they're the ults! Okay, that's so much better. That's fucking dope. That is so cool. I mean, it's the same character, but no fucking way. What? Smash Bros. is an RPG now. This is epic. Dude, what the fuck? I, this is actually pretty sweet. I'm okay with this. That's awesome. Well, that's the closest we're getting to Goku, so. No, <laughs> this way. Bye bye. Maybe next time. What a fucking retard. Hi everyone, I'm Doug Bowser from Nintendo of America, it's your boy. and I'm thrilled to join you for today's Nintendo Direct. Okay, so let's get a look at one of those games by taking a tour of Luigi's Mansion 3. The way Bowser looks like Koizumi just... I wish somebody looked at me that way. Tegust G00 has the powerful suction capabilities required and the new features as well. You suck. You can destroy furniture and more. It's this game looks fucking gorgeous if I remember that. Too. Powerful air pressure with these two blow away ghosts. I thought he farted. <laughs> I thought he shit himself. <laughs> Namely, Gooigi. Oh my Change god. Between Luigi and Gooigi to use both their skills. Gooigi can do everything from slipping through metal fences. Gooigi, that's so to silly. on spikes. Indeed, there are obstacles too great for Luigi to handle. Also. Why don't they make that a fucking multiplayer and aspect? That seems so silly. To me. To a friend, he okay, dope. No. Oh yes, that's exactly what I just fucking caution. said. Luigi and water definitely don't mix. Shit. For local or Dude, <laughs> me and the gang pulling up. What the fuck? You won't want to miss it. Or this. Have a look. Banjo. Kidding. <laughs> Um, what? The music though, oh my god. I actually never played this one either, so... Beautiful. Oh my god, the music is so good, what the fuck? September 20th. Whoop whoop. I will be buying that. Where are you going? <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Oh, this must be Fire Emblem. 
Maybe. Maybe not actually. <laughs> It's the Witcher! Holy shit! Let's all agree to meet back at the monastery this exactly five Emblem. years from today. Like a class reunion? It, yeah, well, hold up. <laughs> hold up, though. This is like reminiscent of the original. That's kind of. Oh my god! This is perfect, right? Is it Resident Evil 7? Why the fuck would you play this in a mansion? That's terrifying. Dumb niggas. Okay. Don't shoot it, you're wasting your bullets. Oh. Five and six. <laughs> that's a that's a weird way of showing it, but okay. Was today the fourth of July? If oh, not, no. is the Empire striking back or what? Looks like things are gonna get weird. Today. Is this no more heroes three? Oh, it's Persona Heroes Start Three. Holy shit. Fuck yeah. It exists. Yes. To of Damn, bitch, you can find my cherries. Shit. So this is, Ms. Harakiri, is this like a new Contra? <laughs> what the fuck? Together during the alien wars. It is Contra. Jack, what the fuck? The sweetest bug you'll ever okay, I guess. Yeah, see this fucking shit. <laughs> Alright. Only water gem. Where the water type Yo, she kinda sexy though. Like she kinda <laughs> She kinda sexy though. <laughs> oh please be bayonetta. Or it's like a okay, it's not bayonetta. Meh. Oh yes. I think they're gonna shadow drop this. Let's see. Oh, so like in two days. <laughs> cool. Nigga, are you serious? Why the fuck are these guys spending time on this shit? Oh, yes! You get to kick bitches out! Fuck yeah! Yo, what? Okay, this is actually kind of looking fun. <laughs> what the fuck? I haven't actually thought that this game looked fun in like years. So that's, uh, that's a good thing. And they're wearing clothes? Nigga. On a game that fans have been waiting for. Please take a look. Mother 3. <laughs> the Nook Inc. getaway package charter flight will soon be arriving at the deserted island. What is this? What is this? Oh! Animal Crossing! Fuck! What, what is wrong with me? Fuck yeah! Somebody I was watching totally guessed that it would be like an island thing. It's totally an island thing. Oh my god. Oh, and it looks so good! It looks so fucking good! Oh, oh my god! I'm so excited! Holy shit! Well, time to waste my life away. Oh my god, this is gonna be so great! Holy shit! And it looks so good, oh my god. Friends! Friends! <laughs> hey, the villager from Smash. <laughs> So it's not coming out this year, but that's okay. They have a date. Fuck you, Tom Nook. So, <laughs> Final Originally, Fantasy VII comes out on the 3rd of March, release. and this comes out on the However, 20th. We need so to change goodbye, to all life. March 20th. Oh, Spyro! Fuck yes! Oh, that makes me so happy. I mean, I already have it on PS4, but like, it deserves to be on Switch, man. Like, for real though. Nino Kuni, wow, that's awesome. That's incredible, actually. What's next? <gasps> oh my god, yes! This is what I. Fuck. Okay, so it's another enemy then? Or what? What the fuck? Yo, 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 what the fuck? <laughs> They're doing it again? Okay, well, who's it gonna be this time? <gasps> oh my god! Oh my god! Holy shit! It's Banjo! Oh my god! Dude, that was a jiggy! That was totally a fucking jiggy! Ah, they got K roll on this time. Yes! Oh my god! Oh my god! Holy shit! It's Banjo! Oh, you're such an asshole! 
It has to. It, it's happening though. Don't don't play us like that. They're gonna do the same thing as the last one. Oh my god, that's so rude. Yes. Yeah, it's the original designs. Oh my god. Woo! Yes. Holy shit. And there's gameplay. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god. Oh my. God, I'm losing my shit. I can't. I fucking can't! <laughs> I love Banjo Kazooie so much! Oh my god! And Joker! Banjo and Joker! Oh shit! Oh, the little jump pad! Oh my god! The honeycomb, that's perfect. On Spiral Mountain! And it's in HD glory! Oh, it's Gratilda! Ah, oh my god! What? The giant Jinjo! From the. That's the final smash! Oh my god, this is incredible! Oh, and just like at the end of that- Dude, this is- This is doing some shit to me right now. I ain't even gonna fucking lie. Oh my god! Please, please be released today. I know it's not going to, but it looks like he's ready. Banjo-Kazooie! Holy fuck! Ball. Hey, you know what? Whatever. We got Banjo, baby. We got fucking Banjo. <laughs> Slash Microsoft at the bottom. Oh my God. It obviously, wasn't Duck Hunt silhouette, was it? What the <laughs> Please stay tuned for more information about DLC in the future. I'm happy. Banjo, Banjo's in Smash. What the fuck? Oh my God, my heart. <gasps> Yo, what the fuck is this? Is this Zelda? Don't, don't do this thing. It's Zelda! Yo! No fucking way! Okay, it's either new DLC or it's a new fucking game. Either way, I'm ready. Holy shit. Dude, what the fuck? It's DLC. I think it's... Ah, that's terrifying! Oh my god. Oh my god. What the fuck? Is it a new game? <gasps> yes! Holy fuck! Oh my god! Dude, no, no, holy shit! What the fuck? No, Nintendo wins. No, nah. Oh my... Oh my god! <laughs> what? Yo! Okay, no, 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 hold up. Hold the fuck up. They fucking win this time. I, at first. Hey, good morning, everybody. And okay. Welcome to E3 2000. Oh my goodness. I'm Doug Bowser from Nintendo of America, and he is Bill oh, from Nintendo Holy shit, Treehouse. it is a sequel. Okay, I, I, need to, I need to pause it right here. I just need to, I need to put this on my Snapchat so people can see. I'm, oh, I'm fucking losing it. I trimmed like a lot of the fat. Um, so it's mainly any, any stupid comments I have or uh, any hype shit that actually got me excited. Lastly, uh, just a, a little thing for myself here. I got a couple things right. I, I had had a little discussion beforehand. I just cut that off just in place of this, because I think this is more meaningful than my predictions. I'm still going to say them, though, because I'm proud of them. I predicted Banjos and Smash. Uh, I predicted Fire Emblem would make an appearance. Not a big deal, but I predicted two Smash characters, one at the start and one at the ending. And, of course, nobody could have predicted Breath of the Wild 2. That was hype. And that was actually one of the last hype things that <laughs> Etika really reacted to. I still remember he was like, oh, shit. And I still remember tuning into his live stream before the live stream started, um, his reaction, just normal shit, him talking with the, you know, with chat and everything. I just like, I don't know, man, we didn't expect what was going to happen because he had already had his, his little, uh, not little, he had his like breakdowns and moments, but I don't think any of us ever expected, uh, it to be that serious or it to get to that point and I don't think you ever do if you are feeling any sort of way 
or you need somebody to talk to, um, there are multiple outlets and never feel ashamed. Uh, his last video is heartbreaking where <laughs> he says some real sad shit and he calls himself a bitch nigga. He's not a bitch nigga. No bitch niggas allowed. That was something that he taught me and I get nervous even sharing something like this and I'm like, I, I just think about it and I think I want this to be a milestone that you know, his existence wasn't in vain. He inspired people like me. He inspired other people in the community. And I think it's important that people don't undermine that. Maybe you don't know who he is or you don't care, but that's okay. But he was a special person who inspired a lot of people and affected a lot of people's lives. So, thank you, Etika. Rest in peace, buddy.